Hey guys, me again. Yeah, I'm wearing the same shirt for the last three videos because I'm recording a bunch of videos back to back because that's what people do, you know, it's easier that way. So anyways, um, I have a question for you guys. If you've been single for as long as I have, which is five years, are you afraid of, are you afraid of sharing your closet? Being single for so long, it's going to be hard to share your things with someone eventually when you get married and they move in or you move into their house. You know, you're gonna have to purge that closet half, at least 50% or maybe 60% because men don't wear as many as much clothes. But are you afraid of purging and sharing your space with someone else? Because you've been single for so long, you're so used to being on your own that the idea of sharing your space can get quite scary, right? And because of that, do you suddenly become super picky to the point where you might sabotage dates that you're going on because you don't want to go and share everything with that with a person eventually so it's it, it's like a it's like a, a stress or I don't know how to call it but a uh, it's like a mindset that you've built along the years of singleness that is affecting your judgment towards finding a perfect mate for you I don't know about you, but that's how I feel is going on in my life. I feel like I've become so picky, um, like to the point where if you say, if you spell the wrong word in a sentence, I'll be like, hey, next. <laughs> and then, you know, you meet them and then you look at their shoes and it's like not nice shoes, disgusting shoes. And suddenly you're not attracted to this person. <laughs> Or if they didn't cut their hair properly and there's a bit of like, I don't know, the blend here doesn't work. And now to the point where, you know, if the guy is my height or just a little, little taller for me, it's like, no, nope, when I wear heels, I'm going to be taller than him and that doesn't work for me. So, no, nope, next. Another one of my excuses would be hair. I don't know why, but I need hair on a man. I mean, I've dated bald guys in the past. Doesn't, it doesn't, it's not a big deal. But right now, because I'm seeking online, it's like I've become more picky. So I judge as soon as I see no hair next. Not interested. I want hair. I love playing in hair. I, li I actually like long hair on a man. So when I see bald guys, I'm like, next. But I've dated bald guys before. But these guys were men that I met in person, organically. So I didn't have the choice to judge his image that way because I would get to know them on a personal level before I would judge them on a physical level. Does that make sense? I don't know how to explain this properly, but online dating really brings you to a mindset of judgment physically. Am I, am I alone in this? I don't know. Maybe you don't do that, but... I feel like it's like built in now because I've been single for so long and online dating sites for so long. So <laughs> it's like bald next, height five, five feet eight next. And then if I see a profile that says Christian, liberal, next. How can you be a Christian and a liberal at the same time? Literally. Or if I see a profile with one nice picture Next, I need angles. I need different angles. <sighs> or if I see a profile with one picture and then five other pictures of, of like scenery and him with his dog or him flexing in front of a, a mirror or, you know, stuff like that. Next, like I've become so picky, it's insane. And is it because I'm sabotaging because I have fear of sharing my space? with someone that's to ponder on that's something I should pray about I don't I don't think so but it can get scary because I have built a comfort zone being single for so long 
living alone. I'm comfortable. I have my own routine. I have my own spaces. I have my own, you know, habits and hobbies. <laughs> so having to share all of that with someone at my age will will be a little hard to detach from those habits. So sometimes I feel like I will become picky to avoid having to do that. I don't know. Like some sometimes I'll find excuses that are that don't make sense. Oh, he's not saying hi first. I have to say hi to him first. Pfft, not worth my time. Next. Like who does that? Am I am I alone? Am I am I crazy? Is it is it just me acting this way when it comes to online dating? I mean, I would never do these things in person when I meet people in person. Never. The mentality and atmosphere of the online dating world, the culture, it's it's disgusting. I hate it. So, anyways, I think I'm going to get off uh the sites. Yeah. And I think I'm gonna have to find ways to stop being so picky. Like, who cares if you know how to spell a word properly? Like, for me, my pet peeve is there, there, there. If you don't know how to use there, 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 to me, it's like a, oh, it really goes deep. And um, mm, sometimes I'm like, mm, should I comment? Should I tell them they're using the wrong there? Usually it's a huge turn off and I just say next, but I need to stop doing that. I need to learn how to come to terms that not everyone knows how to spell and it's okay. I mean, I, I'm not perfect. I know I will make mistakes in grammar in, in many, many areas. I will make mistakes. I'm not perfect whatsoever, but I do have my pet peeves and I do use those things as an excuse to next. Anyways, thanks for watching. Comment below if you're going through the same things or not. Am I alone? Maybe. Who knows? Anyways, thanks for watching. <laughs> On to the next video.